Greetings from Aiko, Hainan, in China. It's our last day here. It's been very different than the last city we've stayed in. Very good experience. Same island, we're just at the very north of the island, as opposed to the very south. I was expecting it to be very similar to Sanya, and uh, definitely very different from that. It's bigger, it is the capital of the province. There's more, I guess, real life going on here, not so much tourist yeah. things. You can tell people work during the day, normal, you know, whenever to whenever. I don't know what their hours are like specifically. Some people definitely working very busy on Saturday, Sunday outside, and not so much during the week. It's really been nice that people have been yelling at us all the time in Sanya because it's very touristy. We were getting a lot of, like every time you walk by someone, everyone just yells at you all the time. <laughs> every corner you get yelled at, no matter what. And I don't think that has anything to do with the fact that we look like tourists. I think that's for everybody. And I didn't notice um, too much until I came here how nice it was to not have that. <laughs> when I was there, it was, you know, it was just kind of the norm and then we came here and didn't have that anymore and I was like wow this is nice. <laughs> Not to say that Chinese people don't seem to yell a lot. All the time. <laughs> Some people are coming in the hotel rooms you can hear them walk down the hallway and they're just consistently yelling at each other. <laughs> It's pretty funny actually. While we're here, we got a chance to uh, check out some uh, local shopping. There was much more of uh, local districts for shopping where there's huge amounts of little tiny shops all weaving through little streets and back alleys. It was really interesting to see. For the majority, we spent our time uh, training. We've got a big uh, obstacle course race coming up in Malaysia next month. We found a park here with a lot of bars and uh, calisthenics park. Yeah, um, tons of bars, two different full bar sets, um, as well as workout equipment all the way along the street. It's been really nice having a place to go every day and train. We run along the river to get there, which is really nice, but unfortunately the river is uh, pretty dirty. It's not actually a nice, pleasant river run. You get all sorts of funky smells. But there's always people along the river um, who are working and fishing garbage out of the river, so they are working to clean it up consistently. Uh, sometimes we actually prefer to run along the streets <laughs> instead. Some of the reading I was doing before we came to Haiko, it said that uh, this place is in a big uh, rebuild phase, and we've definitely seen that. There are some places that are completely knocked down, there's a lot of buildings that they're tearing down, there's a lot of new construction, and a lot of like rerouting of water and electrical things. They're definitely working towards cleaning things up in this city, and it, it was actually really nice to see. We saw a lot of city workers consistently, uh, no matter what time, day or night, <laughs> cleaning and getting rid of garbage. It was really, really nice that way. Yeah. It's also been a little bit cooler since we've been here. We've been lucky to have two, almost three days of rain. Yeah. Almost three so days nice. of rain. So, so nice. out of the 35 degree, back into the 28 degree kind of weather. It's not the heat that gets you, it's definitely the humidity, and it's uh, seemed to be where we were staying in Sanya, like right along the ocean, it was very, very humid. Um, so it's been nice here, knocking that humidity down a little bit. It feels a little easier to be outside for longer periods of time. 25 days in China. So we've spent quite a bit more time working on our Mandarin and it's allowed us here to order a lot of food. Um, there's a lot more vegetarian and vegan friendly food here as opposed to in Sanya. Sanya is just seafood everywhere. If you go in and you ask most places, they're not really willing to take the seafood out or cook you a specific vegetable dish because all of their dishes are pre-made. Whereas here, we found um, hot pot where we could order just vegetables. We found a couple of little restaurants, which we frequented, to get just vegetable dishes. So we had two or three vegetable dishes and uh, mi fan, cooked rice, <laughs> nice, yeah. um, which has been really nice. Because in, uh, 
In San Diego, it was very, very hard to find just cooked rice. People didn't want to sell it to you because it's so cheap. You can get me fun for, you know, one or two yuan for a little bowl. And uh, that's what, like 20, 20 to 40 cents. cents in Canadian. They don't like to sell you just the fun. You know, I went, we went to one place in San Yet. Can we get me fun? He says, yes, I have rice if you pick your seafood. And we're like, we don't eat seafood. And he says, just go, go. And so they wouldn't even sell us the rice. Here it's been really nice. There's a little restaurant that's very close to our hotel. They have an entire uh, section of the menu that's all vegetable dishes. A lot of cabbage, eggplant, and spinach. And uh, we definitely have chalked when we get home. We're going to be putting a lot more garlic and ginger in more dishes because you can't seem to get them any dishes without garlic and ginger. But it's so good. It's all fresh and just delicious. <laughs> so that was pretty much our stay here in Haiko. We're headed back down to the south for a couple of days before we fly out for our uh, obstacle course, which I'm very excited for. I'm feeling very confident about our abilities to make it through, so it should be good. Back to Sanya for a few nights before we fly out to Kuala Lumpur. Looking forward to getting on the bullet train again because it's a fun experience. Man, it goes fast. <laughs> Farewell, Haiko. <laughs> Zai Zai <laughs>